Welcome to the Multiplication Course. My name is Steve Wyborny and this is Separate Ideas or Connected Ideas. In this video, I would like to encourage you to look for connections. Look for ways that ideas are connected, how ideas are related to each other. To help us get started in seeking out connections, here is the number 24. I'll represent it with 24 small squares. 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24. We can think of this as one group of 24. After all, there is one group and the total is 24. I'll record that here. This says 1 times 24. There is one group of 24. Now let's remove this oval so we can start to see some other ideas. If we can make one group of 24, then that means we can also make 24 groups of 1, like this. Now we can see 24 groups of 1. We can think of it either way and know that they are both equal to 24. We can also break 24 apart into two groups of 12. Here is one way to show two groups of 12. And we know that if we can make two groups of 12, then we can also make 12 groups of 2. Here is one way to show 12 groups of 2. So we can think of it both ways. We can move them back to two groups of 12, and we know that the total is still 24. We can also break 24 apart into three groups of eight. Here is one way to show three groups of eight. And we know that if we can make three groups of eight, then we can also make eight groups of three. Here is one way to show eight groups of three. So we can think of it both ways. We can move them back to three groups of eight, and we know the total is still 24. We can also break 24 apart into four groups of six. Here is one way to show four groups of six. And we know that if we can make four groups of six, then we can also make six groups of four. Here is one way to show six groups of four. So we can think of it both ways. We can move them back to four groups of six, and we know that the total is still 24. So we can think of 24 as one group of 24 or 24 groups of one, and at the same time we can think of 24 as two groups of 12 or 12 groups of two, and at the same time we can think of 24 as three groups of eight or eight groups of three, and at the same time we can think of 24 as four groups of six or six groups of four, because it is equal to all of these. The product is 24 when we multiply four times six, three times eight, two times 12, or one times 24. There may be people who think of these as separate facts to memorize. To me, that feels overwhelming. It feels like a lot of work and it feels difficult. Seeing the facts separately could lead to someone knowing that three times eight is equal to 24, but not knowing that eight times three is equal to 24 or memorizing that 12 times two is equal to 24, but not remembering that two times 12 is equal to 24. Seeing the facts separately could mean that someone remembers that four times six is equal to 24, but they don't remember that six times four is equal to 24. They may remember some facts, but may also miss some really important ideas, ideas that help them see important connections. So I challenge you to not think of the facts as being separate from each other, but instead to think about how they might be connected to each other. The relationships between the ideas are very important. So I challenge you to look for the connections, seek out the connections between ideas, find out how ideas are related to each other and build powerful connections. This is the Multiplication Course. My name is Steve Wyborny. Separate ideas or connected ideas? I challenge you to discover that these are not separate ideas, but instead to discover how they are connected ideas.